Hi, Joanne. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, thanks. Are you ready with 37 questions with the Daily Wild? Yeah, of course. Can you tell the viewers who you are? My name is Joanne Thacker, and I'm an undergrad at the U of A. Hey, what's your college major? Um, I'm majoring in architecture and gender studies. How do you like the University of Arizona? Um, I love it. I get to hear new, new ideas and meet new people. This seems like a really nice residence hall. How do you like it? Um, it's very spacious and I get to hang out with a lot of people here. Oh, sounds nice. As you know, there will be college students watching this. Is the University of Arizona the place to stay for everyone? Yeah, um, it's whether you're black or white, girl or boy, this is a place to study. Okay, what's your biggest pet peeve? Um, I have a lot of pet peeves, like um, all-nighters, uh, not sleeping a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, sounds tough. What's your favorite part of campus? Uh, Park Student Union. Park Student Union? How come? Um, I love the food. It's pretty good. All right. Now we'll be asking some serious and personal questions. Okay. What's your least favorite place in school? The girls' restroom. And why do you say the restroom? Uh, there's strangers in there. Strangers? Mm -hmm. Do you ever look at the girls using the restroom? No. Do other girls look at you? I hope not. What if there were transgender girls using the restroom? Um, I wouldn't mind. According to several states' governments, like here in Arizona and North Carolina, mm -hmm. a person must use a restroom according to the biological sex. Do you know what this is called? Um, I think that's a government bill. Close. It is called a bathroom bill. Should trans transgender people be allowed to use the restroom accordingly to their biological sex or gender identity? Um, I think that they should use the restroom according to their gender identity. Do you have any LGBT friends that have come across the bathroom debate? Um, yes, I have some that went through that. Okay, and does this matter to you? Yes, it greatly matters. Who do you think supports transgender people? Um, people or groups like LGBTQ, uh, people that sympathize with them. Do you know who Gavin Grimm is? Um, yes, he was denied access to use the restroom at school. Who do you think is against transgender people from using the restroom? Um, I would say like Donald Trump or any um, communities that are anti-transgender. Okay, and do you think people don't want transgender people in the restroom? Um, I'm not sure, but I, there's there's some people that don't want them in the restroom. Sure. Okay. And do you think the people that doesn't want them in the bathroom? Do you think they have valid reasons? No, they don't. Okay. Can you please explain? Um, I think there's no evidence that they were harassing people or anything. They, their evidence is like off of like assumptions. Okay. Can you name the states that have passed the bathroom bill because um, of sexual harassment reasons? Yes, Texas, Alabama, South Dakota. Okay. So I'm going to ask you another personal question. Okay. Have you ever been attacked by someone? Um, no. Have you ever witnessed or witnessed or have any uh, suspicious activities? Uh, no. Okay. According to conservative communist Ben Shapiro, the whole concept of the transgender movement is that all their problems will be solved if others accept who they are. Do you think that's true? I think that's definitely true. Okay. What is the common ground in this argument? Um, that we should just, that we should all use the restroom and that everyone's equal and that th there should not be like a separation between people. Okay, so. Okay, Joanne. According to the conservative cons communist Ben Shapiro, the whole concept of the transgender movement is that all the problems will be solved if others accept who they are. Do you think this is true? Um, yes. What is the common guard in this argument? Ground. Um, gender neutral bathrooms. Also, what what do you think about security cameras or security guards that can be looked at for criminals? Um, I think that they should have them, for sure. How would you solve the transgender bathroom issue? I would first start a petition that there should be single restrooms that are, for, that are labeled as neutral restrooms. Okay. And besides that, can you explain how would you have people sign the petition? Okay, um, I would talk to um, my instructors or people that are higher up and like have them uh, you know promote it and sign it okay what what else would you do um a simple thing just have just be courteous to others and have just have respect for them okay, that's fair enough anything else would you like to add on um yes that they that we just have to respect their privacy do transgender college students face discrimination because of who they are yes um it happens um all the time, sadly. Would you say the University of Arizona is a safe place to go to? Go to? Um, it's getting there. It's progressing to becoming more open-minded. But I would say right now it is pretty safe. 
And finally, our last question. What would you say to the college students who aren't on either side? What advice would you give to them? That transgender people should be loved too. They're just like us. We're all human beings and that they should have the respect and privacy that we all get. Okay, John, thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you.